What's up guys and welcome to a uh, rack update video. I just want to go over this quickly before I start a new project which I'm going to be uh, documenting as I go through um, and just what I have currently set up in the rack. Um, so I just picked up a few new things for this. I've got these th three servers here. Um, they're HP DL360 G5s. Um, not anywhere near new hardware but they're fine for what I need I what I wanted was some cheap hardware I needed three uh, bare metal machines and they had to have IPMI capability so that's what these three they cover those bases um, they're uh, they've got dual Xeon uh, quad core CPUs they're E 5420s I believe um, and each have 16 gigs of RAM. It's fine for what I need. And they're actually relatively quiet. They're a lot quieter than I thought they would be. So they're, uh, that's a, a plus, I guess, for having it running uh, in my room. This thing is way too loud to uh, run at any given time, really. Um, I might replace it in the future and save that for another time. But the only benefit this has over these is this has a lot more RAM than these ones do. But I'm only running ESXi on this. Um, these three are going to become my OpenStack cluster. So uh, I'm going to go over how to install and configure and do all the network for Triple O Quick Start uh, using CentOS. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's what those are for. That's going to be my next project is Triple O Quick Start. Um, and then as we move up, we've got the SR2500 still here, ESXi 6.0 running Windows VMs and some other stuff just for like, I guess, lab stuff if I need it, but it is very loud and I don't like turning it on that often. Next up is my um, my old NAS, which was my basically an old gaming PC um, inside uh, a rack mount case. It's got your uh, it's got a quad core phenom um, AMD CPU and 16 gigs of RAM and uh, it's got a bunch of had a bunch of drives it still has actually no it still has four drives in it um, I use that as my backup server and NAS it's being retired and I'm going to use this as my under cloud machine for well it's going to run VMs I'm going to put either Proxmox on it or I'm going to use um, ESXi maybe um, to run VMs on that uh, just because it's quieter than this and I want to use it to uh, run my undercloud for triple O these are all going to be over cloud boxes if you don't know what that means I'm going to explain it in my upcoming videos uh, but this stuff is pretty pretty damn cool so stay tuned for that uh, after that is my new NAS all this stuff is off by the way because I was doing some power rerouting in the back and I unplugged everything um, but usually this is on all the time because that's my new NAS. It's a Chenbro 2500 or no Chenbro RM23123. I think that's the model number of the chassis. It's a 12 bay um, hard drive chassis. It's got a uh, APU in it and like eight gigs of RAM um, or four gigs of RAM maybe even. Uh, but that's for storage and backup. It's got about six terabytes or something in it now. I'm going to move some drives out of this into that, uh, and it's going to up my capacity to about eight terabytes uh, in my Unraid server. If you are interested in that, I have a whole series on building that server. Uh, go find that. I'll link it in the cards, or it'll probably be in the, the recommended for you. Um, up above that is what's running my network right now. I am running out of ports on it, actually. This is a 24-port Dell PowerConnect switch. Um, it's gigabit managed, uh, I need to, uh, I need to either buy another one and stack them or I'm going to get, uh, probably a Cisco switch, uh, to replace this. Um, I want something with PoE and, uh, just Cisco in general is a lot more fun to mess around with. Dell kind of just has a web interface, but right now these are all, these six anyway are set up for those three new servers. Right now I only have uh, the NIC1 data connection and then I have the IPMI, IPMI or ILO uh, hooked up. But that needs to change because, or I need to add another cable to each one of these because for triple quick start I need a data cable, 
Uh, I need one for Pixie Boot, which needs to be dedicated to that, like provisioning and stuff like that. And then the IPMI cable, so I need a third one on each one of these. And that's going to take up the last three uh, ports that I have on my Switch. So, yeah, and then the rest of the stuff is like my desktop, uh, both the computers that are on the other side of the room. I've got another set, uh, twin monitor set up over there now. And, uh, yeah, another gaming PC. And then, um, yeah, that's all hooked up there. Also, my wireless access point that's in the other room is in here. Um, and then my internet connection in is this red cable. Uh, then I have this Cisco uh, 1841 ISR router. Uh, that's basically running my, my all my VLANs for this stuff. All my lab equipment, stuff like that is... I'm not, not this, this is on my regular network. All this stuff is going to be on those uh, networks. I have three VLANs set up for this for data management and uh, ILO. And then, uh, yeah, so that's all run through this. I've got this PIX firewall for labbing um, and uh, VPN and stuff like that through that. I don't have it plugged in right now. I will do videos on that eventually as well. Uh, I'm actually in need of another PDU because I'm running out of room to plug stuff in. So that is why that is off. But how, how my network set up is um, internet from my Bell hub thing comes in through this red cable and the Bell router also does my regular home network that everyone else connects to because I don't want to screw with their connectivity. Um, so that's what, uh, yeah, so that's what everyone else is connected through. And then also uh, this purple cable underneath the red one goes up to this router and this one's natted behind this one uh, to give uh, myself internet access from my lab equipment. And then uh, I also have it running through, well right now it just runs back to the switch because it's um, routing the, the VLANs, but uh, this would normally go into the firewall and then back out to the switch so I can make some good old firewall rules and have VPN. I also, I have the brackets for this, I need to put the actual rack mount brackets on this right now, it's just sitting on top of my uh, switch. Yeah, that's the future, future plans for that. Um, and then above that, we've got the patch panel. Uh, I gotta run three more cables. Um, all the, like the patch panel is basically everything that all my servers are connected to the patch panel, just make it easier to, to patch through. I don't know, it's kind of pointless, but it looks nice and I have one, so why not use it? Um, and yeah, that's about it. Then I got the StarTech, just your standard 125 volt, 15 amp PDU. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, upcoming, three bare metal servers using bare metal provi provisioning, using Ironic and Triple O Quick Start. Stay tuned for that, because that's going to be really cool. I'm actually really excited to do that, and that's the reason why I picked up these three servers. I also have one of my old servers out there not being used. Um, and then I'm going to pick up uh, something to replace this. I'm thinking an R710 or maybe something newer to replace that as my ESXi uh, kind of workstation thing so I can kind of keep it on more often than this thing because this thing is ridiculously loud. Even these things are quiet compared to it. So hope you guys enjoyed this, I don't know, condensed tour of the rack. And uh, if you have uh, any questions or suggestions or anything, put it in the comments. And uh, I hope to see you guys in my... Uh, my uh, OpenStack videos coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.